Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent and welcome back to my Red Dead series where I keep you up to date with all of the latest news and updates. So today I'm going to be going over all of the items that you should most definitely claim while they're free in Red Dead Online, including a horse, a saddle, a weapon and multiple clothing items. In case you missed it, this week Rockstar added some early access items into Red Dead Online for PlayStation 4 players and last time they did this, it was only free for a limited period of time. They weren't added permanently free, so I'm going to be showcasing all of the items, where you can claim them, and make sure that you get all of them. At the end of the video, I'll also be going over the new content that was added for Xbox players. This isn't actually the first time Rockstar have added early access items into Red Dead Online for PlayStation 4 players. This is going to become a regular thing as they have a long-term partnership with PlayStation, and last time they did this, if you guys remember, the Red Arabian Horse, the Alligator Ranch Saddle, and the High Roller Revolver, these were all initially free items, but only for the first 30 days. After the first month, these items were also added to Xbox One with a price tag, and the PlayStation 4 version was also updated with the same price tag. So it's highly likely Rockstar will be doing the same with all of the items that have been added this week. So make sure to buy them now while they're free. I still actually get people commenting on my old videos where I talked about the Red Arabian and people comment saying they can't get them for free anymore because Rockstar didn't really disclose that they were only free for a limited period of time. So guys, don't make this mistake again. So let's go over all of the items that you can pick up for free on PlayStation 4. The Perlino Andalusian Horse, hopefully I didn't butcher that name. You can pick this one up from any stable in the War Horse category. The stats on this horse aren't the best in the game, the speed and acceleration are quite low compared to some of the um, other horses. However, being a war horse, it has quite superior health and stamina stats. So depending on what you want to use your horse for, if you want it a very strong horse, especially once you increase your bonding with it, this could be a pretty good option for having those health and stamina stats. As well as getting a new horse, you can also claim a free saddle to come along with it. It comes in 10 different colours. What I didn't show in this video is actually me buying all of the different colour options. I would actually recommend you guys spend a minute or so of your time and just buy all of the colour options so you own them. In future, if Rockstar adds a price tag to these items and you do want to change colour, you would have to actually pay for that again. You'd have to buy the saddle again. So this goes for all of the colour variants I show throughout this video. Just make sure you buy them all and that way you own them permanently and if you're free to change colours anytime you want in the future. And you never know, maybe you'll eventually buy a new horse and you'll want to change the colour of the saddle to match your new horse. Once you've purchased the saddle, make sure you also purchase the upgraded saddlebags. Weirdly, only about 9 of 30 of these variants are free of the upgraded saddlebags, so just make sure you buy the first 9 I believe are completely free to buy. Personally, I think these ones are the best looking anyway with the skull on them. The saddle has some pretty decent stats, the regeneration rate is plus 11%, the core drain rate is minus 11%, and the health core drain rate is minus 15%. Next up we're going to go over the free clothing items, so you can purchase this from a tailor or you can head over to the catalogue and buy it from there. First of all is the Caldwell hat, and it's a pretty much a classic cowboy looking hat. And if you're wondering why all of a sudden I'm using a female character, this is actually my PlayStation 4 account that I don't use very much, so she's quite a low level. My main account is the one I play on Xbox, that's my main account, and that's the one you normally see in videos. But I like to hop on this one just so I can keep you guys up to date with the latest news, and especially when there's PS4 early access content. Next up is the Finely Jacket, and you can get 10 different colour variants for this one. Again, make sure you go through and buy them all, just so you physically own all the different colours if Rockstar were to increase the price in the future. And the third clothing item is the Stenger Studded Spuds. I think that's how you pronounce it. These are quite a nice looking pair of boots with 10 different colour options available. While you're in the tailor buying those clothing, make sure you also claim the free emotes while you're in there. There was two new free emotes added with this update. First of all is the Boast Emote. This is where you kind of show off and brag banging your hands against your chest and you can find this one in the dramatic category. And the second emote is Hey You, 
where you basically point and open your hands in a gesture towards someone. And this one you can find in the greetings category. There was a new weapon added, the ancient tomahawk, and you can pick this one up for free from any fence in Red Dead Online. It's a pretty nice looking tomahawk, uh, not the most exciting weapon in the world to use in Red Dead Online, but it's free nonetheless. And last of all, PlayStation 4 players also have early access to two new multiplayer game modes. The first one is Make It Count using the Ancient Tomahawk. This is essentially the battle royale in Red Dead Online, and it works exactly the same as the current throwing knives and the bow and arrows that we're used to, where basically the map shrinks and you're in a free-for-all to be the last one alive as the map shrinks and forces you into the center of the map. So you're just going to be using Ancient Tomahawks for this one. The other game mode is called Last Stand. It's a new variant of free-for-all competition where players compete to survive in two-minute bouts, resulting in a bloody free-for-all with no way out, no second chances, and only one winner. So you want to be the last one alive to win a bout. You can play either of these new game modes by just visiting the special series icons that you'll now see on the map, or you can hit left in the D-pad, go to the quick join option, and join the special series from there. So that's all the PlayStation 4 early access content out of the way. Now to go over the content that was added for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, because Xbox One didn't actually get an update this week. We have some new free roam missions with two characters added from the single player. So we have Sadie Adler, who you can find in the Adler Ranch in Amberino, and also Black Belly in Lemoyne for some new free roam missions. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason I'm having a lot of trouble actually getting free roam missions to start. Whenever I go to these locations, it doesn't allow me inside the buildings, I can't start the cutscene, and then my horse disappears in a weird glitch. I've tried reloading, and also tried playing on both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and I can't seem to get it to work on either, so I'm not really sure on what the issue is here. I feel like this glitch has literally been happening since the start of Red Dead Online. This week we also have a 25% boost on Red Dead Online cash and gold rewards when you're completing missions, free roam missions, showdown modes, races, and also free roam events. Basically all the gold payouts have been increased by 25%. Rockstar are also giving away 5 free gold bars to anybody who joins a posse this week. So if you just want to join a posse and play a few games or with a posse, you'll actually be rewarded 5 free gold bars. For some reason I didn't get this instantly, I'm not sure if this is something you will be rewarded later on down the road, but just make sure you join a posse at some point this week so you can unlock the 5 gold bar reward. It looks like Rockstar are also trying to really encourage group playing, as being involved in a posse is going to actually increase the XP you earn when playing Red Dead Online, and also the cash that you earn. You're going to earn bonus XP and cash for just playing as a posse. If any of you guys watching this video are playing on Xbox One and are looking for an active posse, I do have a few spots in my posse because a lot of the people I used to have in my posse no longer play. So I do have a few open spots I'm willing to give to a few people that ideally have mics and are active on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, on Red Dead Online. So if you are interested, let me know your gamer tags or send me a message on Xbox and I can add you into the posse and we can make some nice cash and XP together. So that's all of the new content in this week's Red Dead Online update. I'm really happy we finally have some nice stuff to talk about in these videos. I'm no longer just talking about an XP bonus each week. We're actually getting some actual real content. And it really feels like things are starting to ramp up with Red Dead Online. So it's a really exciting time um, for all us Red Dead fans. If you do want to be kept up to date with all of the latest news and updates into Red Dead Online, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free and I do this series to keep you guys up to date with all of the breaking updates as they happen. If you have made it all the way to the end of this video, I'd really appreciate if you could take a second to leave a like on the video. It really helps support the channel. Have a good one guys, and I'll see you in the next video.